Right now, Maine is just one of 16 states where prisoners are not eligible for parole. That's where an inmate can earn a shot at early release if they meet some targets like good behavior and convince a panel they're a worthy candidate. After release, that person is often expected to live under strict rules. The Prison Policy Initiative says nationwide the number of releases went down during the pandemic and parole boards approved fewer releases in 2020 than 2019. But soon, Maine could buck that trend and bring back that early release option. Welcome to New Center Maine at 530. I'm Chris Costa and I'm Zach Blanchard. Thanks for joining us tonight. For nearly two years, the question of whether to reestablish parole here in Maine has been looming over state lawmakers. Today, a commission tasked with studying the issue and making recommendations to legislators in the next session held its final meeting. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow was there and has more on this complicated debate. It's time to move away from the archaic ways where we believe punishment works. Tuesday morning in Augusta, an emotional public comment period. <laughs> Community members asking that people in prison get a second chance. My son was incarcerated uh, for 13 years here in the state of Maine. Mark Brown of Bethel says he's proud of his son Brandon, who earned his associates, bachelor's and master's degrees while in prison and is currently working on his PhD. But he says others in a similar situation may not be inclined to do so. There needs to be incentive. There needs to be a reason for someone to rehabilitate themselves. It's why he wants to see parole reestablished in Maine after it was abolished almost 50 years ago, one of 16 states to do so. Give them a chance to transform their lives and have a genuine shot at re-entering society as positive members. Hope is at the uh, basis of self-improvement. Representative Jeffrey Evangelos is the sponsor of Bill LD842 to reestablish parole in Maine. Lawmakers voted last winter to send it to a study commission. This fall, members have been meeting to determine what recommendations to send to the 131st legislature. A lot of it will be based on the original bill, but it may be um, somewhat broader uh, in its uh, recommendations, leaving room for the uh, new legislature to um, hone down. Commissioner Randall Liberty with the Department of Corrections is one of the commission members. He says his primary concern is public safety and caring for victims. I've been to the crime scenes, I've seen the victims, um, I've been through the judicial process. Liberty says as it stands now, people who are sentenced after 2004 can earn up to nine days per month off for good behavior, which can reduce sentences by a third. The supervised community confinement program also allows people to get out of prison an additional 30 months before the end of their sentence if they have housing and work lined up. We find that the existing system um, with the incentives of good time and uh, SCCP uh, encourage individuals to get the programming and treatment they need to, to address their issues. Still some say it's not enough. If we really want to turn people around, we have to work with them and we have to trust them and have to support them when they need support. A complicated conversation that could be just beginning again. In Augusta, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine. Governor Janet Mills has said previously she does not support the reestablishment of parole in the state. In a statement today to New Center, Maine, spokesperson Lindsey Crete said the governor looks forward to reviewing the commission's recommendations. And while she supports criminal justice reform efforts that advance the rehabilitation of incarcer incarcerated individuals, she is troubled by the lack of consideration given to victims of these crimes and their families.